In this tutorial, we're going to learn all about LUTs inside of Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to use them, how to find the ones that come with Photoshop. Then I'm going to show you how to get some extra free ones, how to use those and how to install them so you don't have to look for them every time. Hey everyone, Colin Smith. We're going to look at LUTs right now inside of Photoshop and stay tuned. I'll give you some links to some resources in a minute where you can get some free LUTs. So we're just going to use this photograph that I shot. This is straight out of camera, unedited, and we're going to look at what a LUT is. So first thing we want to do is under the layers panel, go down to your adjustments and you're going to see color lookup. So a LUT is a color preset more or less that originally was used in film, like, you know, movies and TV, but now we can use it with photos inside of Photoshop. So all we need to do is click on color lookup and under the properties panel, you're going to see the 3D LUT file. Don't even worry about these other two settings. Everything's going to happen here. So let's click on load LUT. And if you look in here, there's several that come with Photoshop. Why don't we go down to full color so we can see what it does to the photo. And we can look at different ones, maybe some film stock. And you can see how they all affect the photo in a different way. We can even go down here where we're doing stuff like moonlight or night from day, where it makes it look like a nighttime scene. So these can dramatically change the image. Let's choose something else like an edgy amber. Now, obviously this is too much. So what we can do is adjust how much we want to use. There's no settings in the LUT itself. But what we can do is in the layers panel, we can change the opacity. So if we just want to have a more faint effect, because some lights will be too strong for some photographs. The other option is we can change different blending modes. So we could go to the color blend mode. If we just want to get the color and not the contrast, or we could go to something like luminosity, where now we're just getting the contrast changes and not the color changes. And of course you could experiment with other, you know, settings such as screen overlay and just kind of see how they affect the photograph. All right, let's dig in a little bit more and let's see how we can use custom LUTs inside of Photoshop. So say we want to adjust this with one of our own LUTs. So we're going to go down to the adjustments and then we're going to go down to color lookup. And this time, rather than looking in the list, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this box where it says load 3D LUT, click again, and then this is going to pop up and we can go directly to our LUTs. Okay, so here's some LUTs that I've created and I'll give you these in a second. Let's try the punch cube. Now these LUTs could be 3DL, they could be cube, uh, they could be look, it doesn't matter, they all work nicely inside of Photoshop. So let's click open. And now we see we get a kind of a cool rustic kind of a look to the photograph. And once again, if you want to change that, just click on there, load 3D LUT. And we could try maybe the mildly cinematic one. Let's have a look at that. And then that loads, you can see before and after. And of course you can make all the adjustments. Now, what if you don't want to load it each time? Because once you load it, it doesn't stay in this menu. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly how to get it into the menu so it's always there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get some LUTs. So maybe you've got some you've created or some you've downloaded. If you'd like some, I've created a Photoshop vault and this has lots of resources in here. So one of the things I'm giving you is LUTs. It also has skies, actions, eBooks, presets, all kinds of things, cheat sheets, the whole deal, brushes. But what we've got here is we've got some LUTs and we're just going to click on download. So I'm going to give you a link to download that. That's actually going to be at photoshopcafe.com forward slash vault. So this is the Photoshop vault and it's absolutely free. And this will work on Mac and Windows, of course. Now you might see them as a zip file. So just double click on that zip file on the Mac and it will just automatically un, um, unzip it. Okay, once you've unzipped them, what you want to do is you want to copy them to the presets folder inside of Photoshop. But very specifically, let me show you. And on the screen, I'll put the path to both the Mac and the Windows path. But essentially on Mac, you want to go to your Applications folder. 
Then you want to go to Adobe Photoshop. Then you're going to click on presets. And if you look in the presets, you're going to see 3D LUTs. So pop that open. And then just take your LUTs here and copy them over. Now I would suggest don't move them like that. Hold down the Alt or the Option key and create a copy. And the reason I suggest copying them is in case you reset your preferences in Photoshop or you reinstall, you don't want to lose them. So put them in a safe place along with the other presets that you download from the vault. Then all we need to do is restart Photoshop. Let's open another one of my unedited images. All right, let's see how this goes. So in the Layers panel, go down, choose the New Adjustment layer. Go down to Color Lookup. And let's pull the Properties panel out so we can just see it a little easier. And if we quick click here on Load 3D LUT and we look down here, we can see the five LUTs that I gave you are all installed. And let's have a look at the Filmic Cube. It gives it a nice kind of a rustic look there. It's, so it's pretty strong. Um, some people might like it like that and other people might want to just kind of reduce the opacity and make it a little bit more subtle. So this Photoshop vault that I've created is just a way of thanking you guys for all your support throughout the years and it's absolutely free, no strings attached. So I hope you enjoy it and let me know in the comments underneath if you found this video useful. And if you are new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. And if you like this or get any value out of it, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.